What's up, Alphas? Hopefully you've been following our video series to help prep your Etsy shop for the holidays. If for any reason you haven't had any notifications about it, the entire playlist for this series will be linked down below. But today we're gonna be doing video three, which will cover Etsy shipping deadlines. When the heck are you supposed to ship your Etsy products? And how do you tell your customers when they're going to ship? And when is the deadline so that you can make sure that your products arrive in time for Christmas? Well, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about all of the places that you should be putting your shipping deadlines. Now, these are going to entirely depend on whether or not your products are made to order, whether your products are just slightly customizable, whether or not your products ship right away, or if you're using print on demand. And I'll throw out a quick disclaimer that we haven't officially received anything from the postal service about the deadlines for this year, but based on previous years, we have a good idea. I'll try to create an update video once we know exactly what those dates are. But for now, what I'm going off of are my previous years. So the dates that you guys use in your own deadlines might be different just depending on when you ship, because I have a relatively quick shipping time. But before we get into this video, make sure that you go down below and steal my free Black Friday survival guide. This will include a checklist that's going to help you throughout the holidays so you know exactly how to gear up for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and Small Business Saturday. Link for that will be down below and it is completely free to steal. All right, guys, without further ado, let's get to it. So if you think that you're putting your holiday shipping deadlines in too many places in your Etsy shop, the odds are you probably aren't because no matter how many times you put in those deadlines, people are still going to miss them. Right now, USPS hasn't officially announced what their holiday shipping cutoff dates are, but looking back over the last seven years that I've shipped, um, I'm still kind of able to estimate when my personal shipping cutoff dates are. This is going to change entirely on what you sell, how long it takes you to create it, how long it takes you to customize it, and how long it takes you to package it, and how many orders you expect to have. So asking me what my shipping dates are should not reflect what your shipping dates and cutoff times are because it's gonna be completely different depending on what you make. But I found a website here that I will link in the video description that has some estimates on when you should be shipping. Um, obviously, whatever USPS lists or whichever shipping service you use, if you're in, you know, international or depending on if you're in the United States or not, you're going to want to add a few days to what you see here, even if you can create your products really quickly or if your products are already good to ship, okay? Because this is gonna factor in the inevitable postal delays that we will see through the holiday season. Mail always slows down a little bit because so many people shop online. So just make sure that you're adding a few days to this. Now, what I've done is I have created this nice little image here that says get it before December 25th, and it has all of my cutoff dates right on it. And this is going to go directly in my listing. So you can use iPicky.com or Photoshop to create one of these images for your own shop. But ultimately, we want to make sure that we're putting our cutoff dates everywhere. Now, right now, it's only September. So normally when I add in my shipping cutoff dates, I actually put it right on my banner, but I've decided that I'm gonna go ahead and wait until November 1st to put it on my actual shop banner, just because, you know, I've got so much traffic coming into my shop and a lot of people are gonna be ordering uh, Halloween keys from me. I really don't wanna have my holiday information on here yet, but that will be coming. However, I am going to add it into my listings and into my shop announcement. So the areas that I recommend that you put in this information are your shop announcement, which is this area right here. And if you scroll all the way down, 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 we want to also add it into our frequently asked questions section. This is another great area to put it. So I'm going to go ahead and grab what I've already typed in. I've put to ensure your order arrives by December 25th, please place your order before the indicated dates. Then I have all of the dates that I've chosen. 
And then I added two additional notes. One of those notes is listed dates factor in the time required to process, customize, and ship your order. Orders placed after these dates cannot be rush processed as customization times still apply. So this, it, it never fails. I get somebody who messages me on like December 20th and wants to place a rush order for a bunch of products, but my products take time to customize and then to process and ship. So I don't really accept orders for rush processing after the listed dates. Um, I also have listed dates do not factor in delays due to weather or postal stalls. This is one that I recommend you having on there. Having it very clear that you are not responsible for blizzards, you know, that might take place in between your your house and the uh, the shipping destination. There's no way that you can account for that. So just some type of little disclaimer in there is good. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and I'm going to save it. So here it is in my FAQ section. Now I'm also gonna scroll up and add it into my shop announcement, which used to be at the top of your shop and for some reason they've moved it down here. Not quite sure why, because I think that that's kind of silly, but we're going to put it right here. And I'm not a big fan of how this is spaced, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Scrunch these together a little bit. Ooh, maybe put that one there. Okay. And then I'm going to put 2019 holiday shipping deadlines. And another thing that I like to do is uh, pop into Google and go to get emoji. Get emoji right here. You can find this cool site where there are lots of different emojis that you can use. Um, there's also Emojipedia. I use this wolf face a lot, but you can type in um, Christmas and get all of the different holiday emojis. I like to use this little Christmas tree, so I'm gonna grab it and do our 2019 holiday shipping deadlines, almost like it's divided out. And this just makes it look a little bit nicer. And then I'm also gonna add in a divider here. There we go. Okay, so that is pasted in. Now I'm gonna grab this whole thing and copy it. We'll go ahead and save. Boop. Okay, so I've edited my shop. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click view shop. And we have our holiday shipping deadlines. Oop, right here. And all the way down at the bottom here. Now the other areas that I wanna put these are, let's grab one of our listings real quick. I want to add this into my actual listings themselves. We're gonna do that by adding in the photo. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the photo that I created, wherever that may be, here it is. And we'll go ahead and put this as the very last photo of my listing. If you have 10 listing photos already, um, I would just recommend deleting one of the ones that you don't like as much and, and make sure that you save it. That way you can add it back in after the holidays. But we're gonna go ahead and throw that there. And then I'm gonna scroll all the way down into my listing body, which I already divide out quite a bit. And I'm gonna paste it into my listing right here, okay? Now I'm going to go ahead and publish this. And now we can see our image here, get it before December 25th. And we can look into our actual item description and find it here. So very, very nice. All right, and then the other areas that I will eventually want to add these into, just not right now because I'm gonna give it a few weeks, but I would normally throw it in either here or if you're using Etsy Plus, you can also make a carousel banner and have it as the second uh, banner 
because carousel banners will allow you to scroll through a variety of different banners. But these are the main areas that I like to put this in. I recommend doing it for all of your listings. Um, I recommend putting it in your shop announcement, in your FAQ section, put it on, if you have a website, put it there, put it on social media, put it everywhere. Because like I said, no matter where you put it, people are still going to miss it. And your best bet is to just stick it in as many different places as possible where your customers are likely to see them. As I mentioned before, guys, everything that we talked about in today's video is gonna be completely reliant on what your product is, how long it takes for you to make it, how long it takes for you to ship it, and if you need a, any extra leeway for your own shipping times. But I've given you some great examples today of what I do in my own shop, and hopefully now you have some good ideas on where you can put your own shipping deadlines. Now, once we know what the official postal service cutoff dates are, I'll try to make an updated video. That way we can kind of spread the word and everyone knows when their products absolutely need to ship by. But until then, this is a good rule of thumb that you can follow in the meantime as you prep your shop. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe down below and click the bell icon. That way, next time we upload a video to the holiday series, you can get a little notification on your phone so you can rush and watch it and get ready for the holidays with me and my shop. Until next time, guys, have a great week and we will see you in the next video.